Hello, my name is Roman Mironov and this is a recording from my latest webinar about the latest improvements in Omega T. And this time I'm going to cover some of the most important scripts that you can use in Omega T. Let's begin with a few very basic things. So where exactly can you get scripts? You get scripts from the internet. Some scripts come with Omega T, with the installation file that you download. And of course you can write scripts yourself. You put scripts into your installation folder. For example, in my case, my installation folder is here, program files, Omega T. And here I have a subfolder called scripts, which has all the scripts. Scripts are simple text files that have the extension of the programming language used in those scripts. For example, I'm going to show you the one of the scripts I will show is spell check. And here's how it looks like, just a text file. Here's how you access scripts from a mega team. You go to tools, scripting. In the left section of this pane, you have the entire list of scripts. And please note that if you make changes to any of the scripts while the Megat is open, you can always press F5 to reload this pane. And the, the changes will actually appear here. For example, if I simply copy a script like this, and paste it here, so just create a copy. I can press F5 here, and as you see, this copy appears now immediately in the pane. Then you also get 12 buttons, and buttons mean the shortcuts that you can assign your scripts to. For example, I'm going to show you how spell check works and uh, since spell check is assigned to F7 in some of the programs like Microsoft Word, I think it's, it's logical to assign it to slot number 7. I'm going to remove the script for the sake of example now. And I'm going to add spell check to the slot. Alright, I right click number 7 and uh, well, First of all, sorry, let's do it again. So I select spell check in the left section and then I right click the slot and select add script. And now script spell check is bound to slot number seven. I can also run scripts directly from this window. Again, I simply select the script and I press run. For example, I can select spell check script and press run. And here's the window with all the spell checker, which I'm going to close for now. And I will also close this window so that I can show you how the shortcuts work. In the tools menu, you get 12 shortcuts to scripts, and as you can see, they're all the same except for the last key. In my case, I assigned the spell check script to slot number 7 and I'm going to use the key combination control plus shift plus F7 to run the spell check. And I'm going to do it right now. So control plus shift plus F7 opens the spell checker window. All right, here's what I do with this window. I can either ignore 
or learn the words. When I ignore the word, I normally do not want to include this word into my dictionary, spell checking dictionary. And when I learn it, this is a word that I, this is a valid word that I want to keep in my dictionary because I, for example, will transfer my dictionary to other projects and I do not want this word to come up in those projects as a potential error. So, for example, in this case, I'm going to learn Zicherheit's Hinweise and for example, I'm going to ignore the word gun. So, and in this manner, I will go to the entire list. Well, let's assume that all the words here are correct. And I'll simply learn all of them. By clicking them, as you see, the repetitions are learned automatically. As soon as I click the very first occurrence, okay, learn, learn, learn. So normally, when I'm finished, I end up with a clean list. Okay, so assuming everything is correct, I learn everything, and when I click refresh, I get a clean less so no more errors and I'm also going to show you where this where is the stored so this of course they're stored in the megat subfolder in the file ignored words and the file learned words so here's the basic spell checking functionality that enables you to Spell check your translations without leaving a negative, which is very, very convenient, and this is something that I recommend to do in every project before you press create translated documents. And now to, to the next script. These are also two scripts that you want to use before creating translated documents because they make so much sense. And these scripts are showing untranslated segments and showing segments where source is equal to target. And we'll start with the show untranslated segments. Okay, what the script does is simply gives you the list of the segments that you did not translate. For the entire project. For example, in this file, I noticed that I forgot to translate this segment. I can click the number and go to that segment. And of course, the same with the spell checking script. I can click the number in that script too and quickly move to the segment if I need to make a change. All right, so. Now I have found the segment that needs translation and I can translate it. Then I f feel I also need to translate this one. This one is fine. And this one. All right. Okay, now everything is translated. I can run this script again. All right, now I'm confident that the entire translation is present in the file and I can create translated documents. Now, why is this a function important? Why is this script important? Because often you change segmentation and when you change segmentation, you change segmentation in one segment, but the same rule can actually affect other segments and you will not know about this. You will not notice it because, for example, if you change a segment in the beginning of a large file, you will not notice that, for example, a couple of segments in the end of the file get changed. And as a result of that change, they are not translated because since the source is different now, 
the translations became morphin segments in the translation memory and they are not inserted anymore in the file. So you want to make sure that there are no such cases in your translation before creating translated documents. And the second script has the same functionality, not the same but very similar source. And it finds the segments where the source is equal to target. And normally you want to use it if you work with this option enabled, allow translation to be equal to source. So if you use it, of course you end up with all segments translated. And if you skip some of those segments, for example, let's imagine that I, again, I simply inserted the source here and left it like this. So I forgot to actually translate it. The script is going to show me that I forget to translate this one and this one. So the script is same segments and it shows me that I forgot to translate these two segments. So again it works pretty similarly to the first script which shows untranslated segments but you use either of the scripts depending on the option that you chose in the editing behavior settings. So, depending on this option, you choose one of the scripts. And now to the script. This is a very useful script, which saves quite a lot of time because it makes it possible for you to access the source file in a blink of an eye, li literally. So you go to Tools, and in my case I assigned it to the second slot, so I click Open Current File. In my case it's already open. Okay, let's do it again. Open Current File, and bam, it opens immediately is very 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 convenient and for example of course it opens the current file right now I on this docx file and the docx file open if I move to the PDF file <coughs> the script will open the PDF file that I'm translating. And I also, since I'm on the subject, I want to show you that you actually have the similar functionality with the folder menu plugin written by Yutong. You can do it like this. Folders, project group, source. It takes longer than the script obviously, but you still can access the file from within a magnitude, which is also convenient. And beside the, besides the source files, this great plugin enables you to access actually all the files in the project, including the target files, as well as the user settings. So this plugin is very convenient too, and You store this plugin I store it here in the installation folder. I have a plugins folder and here I have the folder menu subfolder where this plugin is located. Yes, and you can you can always download it from Yutang's SourceForge JP page. All right, that's it about the most useful scripts, and we we'll definitely will continue talking about scripts because this is 
this is very important and a function which is unique to Omega T and it allows you to do a lot of useful things. Alright, thank you for your time. Bye bye. See you next time.